we want to simplify the given expressions. Let's first apply the commutative property multiplication and write the common bases next to each other. The given product is equal to x to the fourth times x to the power of negative two times y raised to the power of negative five times y raised to the power of negative three. From here, when multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents, which means x to the fourth times x to the power of negative two is equal to x raised to the power of four plus negative two, and then we have times y to the power of negative five times y to the power of negative three is equal to y raised to the power of negative five plus negative three. Simplifying the exponents, we have x raised to the power of four plus negative two, which is x to the second, and then y raised to the power of negative five plus negative three, which is negative eight. The expression is still not considered simplified because we cannot have negative exponents in the final expression, which means we need to simplify y raised to the power of negative eight. Looking at the exponent rules on the right, a to the power of negative m is equal to one over a to the power of positive m, which means to simplify the expression, we need to move the y raised to the power of negative eight down to the denominator. So right now we can write this as a fraction with a denominator of one, and then if we move y raised to the power of negative eight down to the denominator, it will change the exponent from negative eight to positive eight, which means the simplified expression is x to the second divided by y raised to the power of positive eight. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, this first change the order of the product using the commutative property multiplication and write the common bases next to each other. So the given product is equal to b or b to the first times b raised to the power of negative six times c raised to the power of negative four times c squared. And now again when multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents. This product is equal to b raised to the power of one plus negative six times c raised to the power of negative four plus two. Well, one plus negative six is negative five, giving us b to the power of negative five, and then negative four plus two is negative two, giving us c raised to the power of negative two. Again, this expression is not considered simplified because we cannot have negative exponents in the final expression. So right now, as a fraction, we have a denominator of one. So if we move b to the power of negative five down to the denominator, the sign of the exponent will change. And if we move c to the power of negative two down to the denominator, the sign of the exponent will also change. That leaves us with a one in the numerator and then divided by b to the power of positive five, c raised to the power of positive two. This is the simplified expression. I hope you found this helpful.